Good morning, my name is David Venable. I'm a Cummins employee and uh, my responsibilities, I'm a market director in our off-highway business. What I'd like to do is introduce you to our uh, Hyundai uh, 3.5 ton excavator that this has been a, a joint collaboration between Cummins and Hyundai really over the last year, year and a half. Uh, we brought this machine to Bauma as an um, introduction to the marketplace. Earlier this year, we're very pleased to bring it uh, again to IQE uh, this, this, uh, this fall. We're now in the fall season, uh, even though it does feel like summer and um, uh, show you some of the attributes of the machine. Electric motors have been around for, for decades, um, so they're a very proven product. Um, batteries, um, electric um, off-highway applications, we'll say lift trucks, have been in production since the 60s. So from a, a lithium-ion battery standpoint, it's fa fairly new technology, but what some of the requirements are now in the industry as we're starting to promote um, zero emission power, warranties, um, um, OEMs and uh, manufacturers standing behind their products are providing longer warranties to go with this to build confidence with the consumers. Really from a, a marketplace standpoint, electrified uh, compact excavators are starting to become a little bit more common than they were three, four years ago. So from a uniqueness standpoint, this for us, this is the first Cummins powered um, mini excavator that's in the marketplace. The collaboration we had with, with Hyundai is um, towards bringing this to a, a future production capability. This machine is powered by uh, a Cummins power pack. Um, Cummins purchased a, um, or acquired I should say, a Bramo uh, out of Talent, Oregon. Bramo has been very well known for producing battery packs, modules, very high technical capability around uh, providing electrified power into the marketplace, utility vehicles, lift trucks, and so forth. So we leveraged some of the existing products they had, the BM 4.4. These modules were placed into a pack. Um, the, uh, the pack comprised of eight modules, so it yields about 35 kilowatt hours of, of energy. So 35 kilowatt hours of energy in a 3.5 ton excavator should suit you for uh, about a full day shift, but most of these um, operations don't require 100% or continuous power, so it, it, it will last you for a full shift if you used it continuously, maybe three, four hours at the most. So uh, it's sized appropriately for this type of an application. One of the key attributes of this, this machine is we've removed the engine, removed uh, the radiator, a lot of the components that go along with supporting the engine, replaced it with um, a lithium ion battery pack. Uh, this lithium ion battery pack powers an electric motor. That electric motor then couples with the hydraulic pump drive. So we retain the entire hydraulic pump drive as it is with the machine uh, to make it as seamless as possible and from an engineering standpoint made it quite a bit easier to do as well. So from a, um, a hydraulic actuation, it's all still intact. Uh, it was a, a method for us to get this unit operating probably quicker based on the available technology as well. From a performance standpoint, one of the things that our, our engineers found when they did the initial tuning on this is you can tune this application very aggressive and it could outperform a diesel engine side by side. So you have to actually tune it back a little bit so that you can retain some of the battery storage. Otherwise, you burn through that energy storage pretty quick. So from a, a feasibility or capability standpoint, I think electric power actually has, and we learned this, probably a broader um, uh, range of the utility in terms of performance, which really kind of surprised us. Um, but from a productivity standpoint, obviously, um, it's got a, a finite life from a battery standpoint, so you'd have to support that with charging somehow. From a serviceability standpoint, the only thing that you would really need to service as opposed to um, uh, an internal combustion engine where you've got fuel filters, loop filters, belts, and so forth, um, the main thing you need to service with this is just keep it charged. So uh, the serviceability standpoint really starts to very much favor um, an electrified machine. The service training standpoint is a little bit different because you need to have some high voltage training certification. So anyone who opens the hood on this and does anything inside the uh, what we call the engine compartment would need to have um, uh, capability with high voltage certification. So it is 
Um, it will require a little bit more unique service practices, uh, obviously from a safety standpoint, but with the right training it should be seamless.